Hi everyone, last break of the night should be a good one. 2019 Gold Rush Autograph Baseball Series 1. This is a two box random player break number eight. This is the last two boxes of the case that we popped open a few uh, a few breaks ago. Um, so the next two box break that you see, break nine, will be from a fresh case. So keep that in mind. Big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting into it. One spot gets you seven players, so let's times that by seven. There's already one, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. So that should equal 98 because there's 98 players on this checklist. Excellent checklist, too. It's just a matter of, you know, it's low risk. It's only a $17 break. High reward. Let's randomize each list a lucky seven times. Two and a five. Your name's first. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we've got Logan all the way down to Nate. A couple Nates. Two and a five, seven times for the players. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Good luck, good luck, good luck. We've got Don Zimmer. Down to the goose, goose gossage. All right, so first of all, I'm going to slow, I'm just going to slowly scroll down the list so you can just see the players as is, as randomized, right? Then I'll alphabetize by your first name, so wait up for that. This is just for, for uh, randomizer auditing purposes if you ever wanted to do that. Um, now let's sort by column A. So Dave Barrows, there are your big chunk of players right there. Trades are allowed but not recommended. I feel like it's a little too scary to trade in a break like this. Jack, there are your players right there. Logan. Michael Calder. Michael Patterson Woods, MP Dub. Nate. And the rest is for Nate. Now, if you need to see your names again, let me know if you missed out. I will also, for those of you watching live, will share this. We'll share this uh, spreadsheet in the chat. So if you're able to open up that, you can definitely take a look at that as well. And I'll give everyone a couple moments to digest uh, the, the players that you have. Fins up. I don't believe what I just saw in the previous break. First time you saw an MJ in person. I know, it's pretty nice. In my years of doing this, we've been doing this, what, four and a half, five years now? I've only seen maybe three, four um, Michael Jordan autographs. One was, on, one was in Upper Deck Buckets. I think it was the, the full-size basketball breaks. And I think we've seen two or three, maybe three or four come out of here. But over the years we've been doing this, not, maybe two Jordan rookies, but those aren't autographed. But yeah, I mean, they're very rare. All right, looks like no trades. I think everyone's got a good idea of their players. No one's asking for their players. So TWC trade window closed. Good luck, everybody. We can play. I know it's a little late, but we can still play a couple quick rounds of Who Am I? So put on your thinking caps and try to guess who these players are based on the stats that I give you for bragging rights. Bragging rights. Just to say you did. Fins up. Chris forgot to ask. Ow. Fuck. Sorry. I'm going to cut myself on the box. There it is. It slid right across the top of the box right here. Anyway, uh, new new store will be just a little bit north of us, Fins Up. Oh, you've been here. 
Um, so it'll be in Hermosa Beach. So it'll be like, I think 10 or 15 minutes north of here. All right. That's right, car blasters. I said fudge. This is a family show. I would never say the other word. Um, who am I? I am a former Major League Baseball player. I'm retired. I'm 71 years old. I have a lifetime 267 average, a little over 2,000 hits, um, 389 home runs, and 1,376 RBIs. Played for one team my entire career. First ballot Hall of Famer with 96.42% of the vote. He, he was a no-doubter. 14-time All-Star, two-time World Series champion, two-time NL MVP, a World Series MVP, a NL Rookie of the Year, 10-time Gold Glover, two-time NL Home Run leader, three-time NL RBI leader, part of this team's Hall of Fame. This team has my number retired. My number five is retired. Major League Baseball All-Century team, part of the Major League Baseball All-Time team. Right-hander, right-handed catcher, catcher, 71 years old now. I think I had a book released recently, last couple of years. Born in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Played for the Reds my entire career from 19, you should get it now, from 1967 to 1983. Yep, Roy's got it. It's Johnny Bench. There he is right there. There should be a JSA sticker on the back here somewhere. There it is. So everything's on the up and up. Johnny Bench. Who's got Johnny? Dave Barrows does. There you go, Dave. terrible if I lost a, if I lost a thumb I would never be able to 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 I'd never, I wouldn't be able to break again no they would just take longer thumb slipped I should have had a I should have had some chalk here ready to go there's the JSA card down here all right who am I? I am a retired pitcher. I'm currently 53 years old. Born in Massachusetts. Uh, my win-loss record, lifetime win-loss record, 305 wins to 203 losses. A lifetime 354 ERA, 26, little over 2,600 strikeouts, Played for two teams my entire career. 10-time All-Star, a World Series champion, a two-time NL Cy Young Award winner. Um, kind of early and then late in my career, which is kind of cool. Um, a World Series MVP in between those Cy Youngs. A four-time Silver Slugger Award, so I can, I, can, I can hit the ball a little bit. Five-time NL Wins Leader. My number 47 retired. I'm in this team's Hall of Fame. I'm in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Inducted with the, on my first ballot with 91.9% of the vote. Um, Roy, not Ted Williams or Trevor Williams, Pirates. Not Clemens, Joe P. Not Seaver. He's younger than Seaver. Hamels is not a Hall of Famer yet. Uh, on the right track with Greg Maddox, Sean Mandel gets it. Tom Glavin. His teammate, Greg Maddox's teammate. 
Played with the Braves from 87 to 2002, then the Mets for four years, and then a year with the Braves. There's his Hall of Fame inscription right there. There's the JSA sticker back here. Tom Glavin. I think he was drafted uh, by the Kings. In a, he was really, really a great athlete. He was drafted by the Kings in 1984, which is crazy. And then, he, but, but then he went with, uh, went with baseball. Yeah, Jack Rem I, re I forgot it was the Kings, Jack, until you mentioned it like the other day. I, thought, I, I knew he was drafted uh, in hockey. I forgot that it was the Kings. But yeah, I mean, he had a he had a fantastic career. Look, look at the numbers. I mean, three hundred and five wins. That'll pretty much get you locked into a Hall of Fame spot. But you know, you add a chip with that. This I thought I always thought this was cool. You can. This is how great Tom Glavin was from start to to towards the end of his career. He was a Cy Young winner in ninety one, early in his career, and then won another one seven years later. So there's some good longevity there. So. I think that this guy was a no doubt about it Hall of Famer. Great athlete too. What's he doing nowadays? What's he doing? Um, helping out the homeless. Nice. He has a charity wine, Cabernet Glavignon. Get it? <laughs> nice. 2011 color commentator for Braves games. All right. His son, Peyton Glavin, selected in the 2017 draft, but he went to baseball or went to Auburn on a baseball scholarship. Blah, 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 blah. Good Catholic dude. Good dude. What a good dude. Good guy, good guy, Tom Glavin. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. That was uh, Random Player Break number eight from jazbeescasebreaks.com. The break where I injured myself. I'm day-to-day, -day, folks, and I'll play tomorrow. If Max Scherzer can play with a broken, th with a broken nose, I can, pl I can break with a split with a split thumb. He's still on their broadcast? All right. There you go, everybody. Thanks, everyone. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.